Once it's all over, all that's left are memories. Those reminders kept in the back of one's mind and sometimes captured on someone's camera. It is really heavy to know there's good and bad in the world. It's extremely heavy to be in the presence of both at the same time. Garrett Spradlin is a photographer. He attended Saturday's Douglas County Pride Fest, hoping to land a few photos of the fun atmosphere, but he got more. Granted, they weren't really disturbing the peace. They were disturbing the event. So as public as it is, they came in, shirts revealed, and stood. Spradlin says just before the drag show, dozens of protesters stood up and revealed matching shirts that read stand to protect children. Witnesses say they stayed that way for about 40 minutes. There were kids crying. There were families that were intimidated. Where is the family friendliness in that? Art Kirkeesian is the co-chair of Doug Co Pride Fest. He said he found out about the group ahead of the drag show and decided to call them out on it. I said, would you like to show us your shirts now or do you want to just save the surprise. 65 men or so stood up and stood there and intimidated our whole audience. Organizers say the security team was eventually able to negotiate with the group to not stand in the way of those there for the show. Spradlin photographed the group as they left, but he says this moment was just one snapshot of a day full of love. Many hope that's what proves to be more memorable. I cannot let that overshadow the amazing experience we had yesterday. I have to keep remembering to focusing on that piece that love wins. Douglas County Commissioner Laura Thomas tweeted about the incident. She called the group a distraction and said besides the delay, the show was entertaining and followed the county's contractual regulations. Commissioner Abe Layden also released a statement that said in part that it was unfortunate that some members of the community thought it was productive to try and block a G-rated performance. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office says there were no citations or arrests from the incident. And it's worth saying one more time that the county worked with the organizers to make sure this would, this would be a certain way as far as it came to like like family friendly, et cetera, et cetera. And this still happened. Exactly. They checked all of those boxes. They, they went through in a very thorough manner to make sure that mm -hmm. this was inviting and a safe space for everyone. And they still mm -hmm. went through the situation. Interesting right? to hear even the county commissioner say, come on, like this isn't okay. Uh, Jaleesa, thank you for your reporting.